This is a course for anybody who is just passionate about communicating science. I feel like science and technology have a potential to solve a lot of problems in today's world. So in some ways I think science communication has never been more important. I'd always been interested in science and media separately and I think that was the first point I realised that I could marry the two together. There was a master's course and it was a career angle I could pursue. I wanted to do a bit more beyond just the science and actually see what goes into making those pieces of science that had inspired me to do my undergrad. Hello, I'm Dr Tori Herridge. I am a senior lecturer and I'm the programme director for the MSc in Science Communication. I've worked for a science journal before and I realised that the things I enjoyed the most were the, the outreach, spreading the word about what we were publishing. In my final year of undergrad I bought a DSLR camera and started using it to take nature photos. I went out and worked for a year while I decided whether it was something I wanted to pursue and in that time I found the Masters at Sheffield. It was one of the leading universities to actually learn how to communicate science specifically. I am an academic on the one hand, I do evolutionary biology. I also have this other side to my career. I make TV programmes, I've presented programmes for Channel 4, for National Geographic. I make radio programmes, I make podcasts. This whole section of my life, science communication, has always been something in parallel. And now here at Sheffield, I get to bring them together. Studying this course has been absolutely brilliant. It gives you a wide base of sort of everything from science writing to podcasts to radio to film to photography even. I think the critical thing to remember if you choose this course is you are embedded the whole time within a science faculty. You sit amongst all of these active researchers in physics, in biology, in chemistry, in psychology. It's really nice to meet people from all different kind of backgrounds, different places and, and collaborate, put ideas together. But more than that, this course also intersects with journalism. It's co-taught with journalism as well. The journalism school is obviously very good and very well respected worldwide. That tie was really important to me. You get this critical lens from the media side of things as a way in to understanding what science communication is and how we use the media to communicate our science. And it's really kind of enforced some of the thoughts I had about the ethics and the importance of ethics, particularly in science journalism where portrayal of things has to be so accurate. Interwoven through all of that is practical experience and that is at the core of this Masters. At the end, you have the theoretical background, you have the, the know-how of how to communicate science and most importantly, the portfolio that you need for applying for a job to show you can do this. I've most enjoyed the creative media elements, so filmmaking, podcasting. I had no idea how to do any of it. The facilities are all first class, you've got the creative media suite, which is great, you can hire out cameras, use podcast rooms. I'm sitting here in a TV studio at the university. Uh, the training covers different levels, so it's not intimidating at all, you can always back down if you think you've met your match with something. It's really cool that within a few weeks I sort of managed to film and edit together a short video, which is not something I would have had a clue how to do before I came here. Sheffield is also like a massive cultural hub and you mustn't forget of course that every year you get the Sheffield Doc Festival which must not be underestimated for a science communication masters. I've been in Sheffield for a long time I did my undergrad here like lots of people I stuck around because it's got such a nice relaxed vibe. Obviously the facilities here are great so you've got plenty of space to study lots of opportunities to get involved in things. Sheffield Student Union is routinely voted as one of the best unions in the country and they have their own TV station, their own radio station, their own newspaper. So if you want to make your stuff, you can make it, you can put it straight out there thanks to the Student Union. It's a really lovely place to live. really like the kind of small town feel it has despite being a, a big sized city. It's a very green city, it's very friendly. I really couldn't see myself being happier anywhere else.